as some of you may remember uh, or have seen my uh, old video on a little greenhouse that I built back at the end of 2016. Uh, and uh, I was planning on, you know, using it as a, as a uh, test template or whatever uh, and end up eventually building a uh, bigger greenhouse, a lot bigger greenhouse based on this concept. But uh, things got in the way of me being able to totally do that in 2017 like I had planned on. Uh, like I bought a tractor, so that ate up uh, a lot of money getting that going there. Uh, that and then picking up some additional implements and stuff. But anyway, this was the uh, the video that I shot of the little greenhouse back then. I have extended it. Uh, this was originally uh, 8 foot by 8 foot, and I have extended it to where it is 8 foot by 16 foot. Uh, but anyway, like I said, I just kind of wanted to go a little bit over that. Uh, the, the design up here on the upper roof part uh, is called a gambrel. And uh, so a lot of people, you know, they don't really know how to figure that out and how to build it. Uh, let's see if I can pop in here and find where it's uh, showing some of the upper upper part of it. And you'll just have to excuse, I've got a real slow broadband out here in the middle of central Texas where there's nothing around. Uh, we'll try to find something here in just a second. But anyway, like I said, uh, I had uh, built this. Uh, basically, it was, uh, it was by myself. My wife was uh, up in Minot, North Dakota, babysitting the grandbaby because uh, my uh, daughter was deployed at the time. And uh, so I was down here uh, basically doing this by myself. Uh, another reason for it only being 8x8. Eight eight. Uh, like I said, uh, don't know where I uh, actually shot the inside upper part of it. But anyway, uh, you know, I figured that uh, some people might like to know how to figure out how to build something uh, like this. So, like I said, uh, the roof is gambrel roof uh, sitting uh, on uprights that are five feet up uh, to give me the head clearance because an eight foot wide of gambrel roof, if it was sitting down low, would... Uh, be pretty short and I'm a tall guy I'm a little over six feet tall uh, and plus you want uh, room for your plants to grow uh, in there so uh, like I said uh, knowing me I'm not going to find the shot in here that I want there we go okay let's See if I can just back this up a little bit, get a little bit clear. So anyway, the gambrel, uh, this is a five foot upright coming, and you start your gambrel roof on top, and you'll notice these are what's called purlings, and all my purlings are set in. It's a little hard to see uh, right here, but all my purlings are set in. They're inset uh, in, and I'll explain that here in a little bit. Then these are the gussets. So the, the very top, which would be up here, is called the ridge. With this right here, it's a little blurry in this clip shot. That's the ridge. These are the purlins. Okay? So now we're going to go over to a place that I'm going to show you uh, where you can get uh, all this calculated out for you. Uh, that's not the actual site, but this is a... a of it so we're going to go right here okay this site is called blocklayer.com and blocklayer.com has 
tons of uh, really great uh, calculators and plan calculators out there. So, uh, I'll go ahead and tell you right up front, the uh, little buttons up here, these will take you to different uh, calculators and templates uh, where you can key in some stuff. Uh, these buttons right here are worthless Google ad redirects. They don't take you to anything that has to do with what they say in there. Okay? Uh, typical Google takes you out to a stupid little page, another page you click on it, and it takes you to contractors and stuff to build shit for you and stuff, uh, which is, if you're visiting a site like this, <laughs> hopefully that's not why you're visiting a site like this. Uh, so anyway, uh, you have all kind of stuff up here, roof calculators, deck calculators, gazebos, everything else. So you can click through these and uh, find calculators too. So you can scroll down as well, and there's a lot of different little plans in here. Now here's the Gambrio roof calculator if you just want to go to it. Uh, but if we go to roof calculators here, then you'll see that we have our different types that we can uh, take a look for. Okay, this is a hip roof. Uh, if we want to do a skillet roof. Uh, it'll pop in there in a minute, which is just basically a, a straight roof piece. But if we go to the Gambrel roof calculator, then here's what we've got. Now, on mine, uh, I want to do Imperial, get off a of metric here. Now, we can do the wall width, let's just say, and we'll leave it at this example, we want to go, let's just go back to my little 8 footer. Okay, and we're going to leave the sweep angle at 45 equal. The rafter depths on here, uh, mine are 2 by 4, so they're 3 and a half inch. And the ridge is a two by four, so it's an inch and a half wide. And the purlin is also an inch and a half wide. So I just select all that kind of stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and right now we're going to leave it uh, with that. Now you'll notice here originally just showing these uh, as it comes up with the uh, the boards buddy straight together. Okay, but like I said, on my greenhouse, I ran ridge and purling. So I'm going to have them inset in there. So I'm going to tell it to calculate. And you'll see that it has now come in here and it has given me the dimensions of each of my boards showing the purlins and everything inset into it. Uh, the width is 8 feet. And if I come down here, it actually gives me the cut uh deals for each of the pieces. So I have a cut template for this piece and a cut template for this piece. Now in my greenhouse what I did is this didn't come all the way to the ground and so I set that on top of a five foot two by four so that this was all raised. So what I basically did is just made them all this right here. And so this piece replaced this piece and it was cut at an angle, and then I cut this same angle right here on the five foots and stuck them on there, and that raised it up. So I've got that uh, situation there. Now, you can come in here, and let's see where it is. Uh, okay, you can Come down here and go print diagrams. And this will create a PDF of it. Okay? And you can print that out if you want to. But anyway, we uh, wanted to figure figure out some stuff. So let's just say you, you wanted to uh, go, uh, you know, uh, 16 feet wide. And want to calculate that. Now we have that in there. Now, I... Uh, I also put gussets, but I run mine under here. I also on the outside ran them on the outside and, and uh, basically dado them in so it's all flush on the outside. 
But this will even calculate the gussets for you. So if we come in here and say show the gussets and I want them only 24 inch and calculate and it'll come in here and give you that and it'll actually give you the gussets. So you've got the layout for the gussets. Now, uh, if you're running the purlins and the red, uh, the ridge and the purlins straight through the gussets, and you can come in here and just lay that out and notch out if you want for the purlin to run straight through or the ridge to run straight through. So anyway, I just thought I'd uh, you know put this out there. You know, it's a nice little place uh, to go. Uh, to get some information if we come back uh, to the home uh, there's all kind of stuff on here there's the, the uh, deals to show you how to calculate these cuts to calculate these cuts pulleys stairs uh, you know gazebos decks everything else another thing too is really nice this is uh, print cut pipe notching templates so you can <laughs> you can set up a lot of stuff so it's a really good site uh, I just thought I'd point that out there uh, you know it's, it's blocklayer.com and uh, it, it's a great little site a lot of good information you know uh, you know if you want to build a deck come over here and put all your information in to what you want to do to build a deck and it's going to calculate everything out for you. It'll tell you everything you need to know. And uh, so a lot, of, a lot of good, a lot of good info uh, there. Uh, figure concrete blocks, how many you need for stuff, tank volumes if you're trying to figure out how much uh, water uh, a tank is going to hold or something like that give you wall framing uh, stuff calculate how much concrete you need uh, just like I said tons of stuff so anyway uh, blocklayer.com it's my little secret place to go get a lot of information without having to sit out there and calculate it out uh, myself I just go in there and plug in the numbers and bam it tells me uh, what cuts I need to make where and what size material I need to make something. So basically what I want to go over is going to share this little tip with you guys. Until next time, thanks. Mm -hmm.